In this video, we're gonna make our own smart doorbell in which you can get the photo of the person ringing the bell straight on your smartphone using the Blink IT platform. And yes, I have used the ESP I board for this project, but well, you can also use the ESP32 CAM board for making the same project. So let's get started. Now for those who don't know what ESPI is and how to use it, kindly watch out this video to get quickly started with this board. That being said, let's just move ahead for the coding of the project. So this is the code for the project and I made this project by modifying a bit inside the camera web server example code which was already available in the ESP32 examples. I have modified it to make it compatible with the Blink IT platform. So in this video, I will let you know what changes I made in the code. So first of all, I declared all the necessary libraries to make it compatible with the Blink. After that, you have to choose which board you are using. For example, right now I am using the ESPI board, hence I uncommented this ESPI board. But if you are using the ESP32 CAM board, well you need to uncomment the last line. Moving ahead, here you need to provide the SID name and password of your Wi-Fi router. And as we are using the Blink, we need to provide the authentication token as well, which will generate after you make the project on the application. We will have a look over it in a while. After that, I have declared the LED and the button pins here. Now one thing which I need to tell you here is, in case you are using any other board except the ESPI, you do need to change this uh, GPIO numbers as well. For example, in the ESPI, the LED is attached to GPIO 21, while the button is attached to the GPIO 15, hence I defined the GPIOs here. In case of uh, ESP32 CAM board, there are GPIOs exposed uh, externally. You can use multiple GPIOs there. So just change this LED and button pins according to the GPIO you are using. Okay, now let's just jump directly to the loop of this code. So inside the loop, as you can see, I'm just pulling the button pin. And as soon as the button pin gets low, I'm just calling one function called capture. Now, if we look inside the capture function, then here I'm just turning on the LED first. After that, I'm sending the notification to the smartphone. And after that, I'm changing the property of variable v1 by using the function called blink.set property. So here, I'm just changing the link every time the button is pressed. So every time we press the button, a different link will be requested thanks to the random function of the Arduino. So with this, we can get a new image every time the button is pressed. So that's it about the coding of the project. But before uploading the code, let's just jump to the Blink application. So inside Blink, just click on this new project, give it a name. Uh, I will give it a name as a smart uh, doorbell. Select the board as ESP32. Connection time is Wi-Fi. That's it. Create project. So the authentication token is already sent to your registered email ID. So click on OK here. Now just step on the screen and add one widget called image gallery. So this will show the image captured by the camera. And I will add one more widget for notification. Okay, so just tap on the screen and add this widget called notification. That's it. This two widget you need to add here on your Blink application. Now here just tap on this widget, select the pin and select the virtual pin V1 here. Click on OK. And that's all you need to do on the application side. You don't need to change any parameter inside the application. Just add these two widgets and you are ready to use your smart doorbell. Now inside the code, I will just paste this authentication token which was sent to my email address. Select the board as AI Thinker ESP32 CAM and upload to the board. Okay, so the code is successfully uploaded on the board. Now let us open the serial monitor. And in the serial monitor, as you can see, the first of all, it will try to connect to the Wi-Fi network and... Uh, Yes, it already connected to the Wi-Fi network and it even got its own local IP address. Now, just open your smartphone and connect your smartphone with the same Wi-Fi network whose credentials you have provided inside the code. So, I already connected my smartphone to that same Wi-Fi router. Okay, now just click on this play button. Now here, if I press this a switch on this ESP32 board, I should get the image on my smartphone. Now let's just put a small deal here. If I get the image successfully on my smartphone, well, you need to click the like button, okay? Let's just see this project in action. I'll click this uh, button here on the board. As you can see, see the red LED turned on and it got turned off. And yes, I got the notification and I even got the image on the screen. So the image is about the camera and the light from which I'm recording currently. If I just press the button by facing the camera here. Well, I got the image of myself on my smartphone. So yeah, the project is successfully working. Now, according to the deal, you need to click the like button. So do click it right now. 
Okay, just kidding. Uh, do click the like button if you really love the project because I always say uh, if you like the video, the YouTube algorithm will come to know that this video is good and worth watching and it will promote this video to other viewers as well. So do like this video if you love it. And one more thing, even if you just uh, put this application running on the background, this project works as well. So as you can see, uh, if I click the button, uh, you know, if I click the button on the ESP board right now, Okay, I got the notification on my smartphone. If I tap on the notification, as you can see, I even got the new image on the screen. So this project works even if the application is running in the background. In ESPI, we don't have the external GPIOs to use, but in case of ESP32 CAM board, well, we do have multiple GPIOs to use. So in that case, you can make a smart doorbell along with a smart lock. That means you just need to attach one relay and an electromagnetic door lock with the GPIO and just add one button inside the Blink application. So with this, you won't only get the image on your smartphone, but by clicking one button, you can also open the door in case if you want. So this makes a complete smart doorbell system. So isn't this an interesting project to make? So do make the project and do share your project videos with me on Instagram or WhatsApp. So yeah, that's it about this video. Do comment the project idea which you want me to make with the Blink or any other IoT platform. I'll surely make that for you. So yeah, now just wait for my next video in the next video. Learn, share with me, Techie SMS.